Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone. So before we begin, uh, let me show you a quick table that I have in Power BI right now. Okay. So this is a table which has dates starting from 1st of January, 2022 till today, which is 4th of January, 2023. Okay. But this table is a static table. I imported this table from an Excel file. Now coming to today's requirement, what we have to do is we need to create a table similar to this one, but that table should be dynamic and it should not be fetched from any data source that I did in this case, right? So we need to create a dynamic table, which will automatically add new date rows depending on the current date. So let's see how we can create such kind of a table dynamically without importing it from a specific data source. Okay and we will be using M query to do this. So this is how you do it. So once you open your Power BI desktop, go to home tab and click on this get data tab. Okay. And within this, there will be an option called blank query. Click here. Now this will open up the Power Query editor for you. And the first thing that you see is the query that we have opened up or created a blank query, right? So what you need to do is first of all, we need to provide a starting date to Power BI from where the first date will start. Okay. So in my case, I want to start the date from 1st of January, 2022. Okay. So in order to do that, we'll use a function and to be specific, we'll use date function. Okay. So date and you need to initiate the date function like this equal to pound sign date, and then open up the brackets. And the date that I want to give to power BI is 1st of January, 2022. So this is how you do it year month and day format. Okay. And press enter. So the moment you press enter, it will assign that date to this query. Okay. Now that we have fixed the starting point. Now, as you see right now, we only have one step added to this entire query that we have in the applied step section, which is the source, which we have defined as date. Okay. Now we need to add another step to this. And how do we do that? We need to click on this FX button here, which will add a step. And by default, it will give you as equal to source. We need to remove that. Okay. And you need to enter this formula now. So this is how the formula works. So the list dot dates function generates a list of date from a starting point, count of rows and duration interval. Now, when you talk about duration interval, this takes parameters in the form of days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So one comma zero comma zero comma zero will just simply add one day to the duration that is if the first row is first january the second row will have second january and then next row would have third january and so on so if i simply decipher this entire piece of formula in simple terms then this formula means list all the dates starting from the source which is first january 2022 the number of rows that i want would be the current date minus the source date which is the starting date and the duration interval that I want is one day. So as you see, when I entered this formula, the first row is 1st January 2022, which is taken from the source. And then every row item is adding one day to it. So if I change this duration to two, then you would observe that each row is getting incremented by two days. Now, first one was 1st of January 2022. Second one is 3rd of January, then 5th of January and so on and so forth. So I hope you have a better understanding of this formula right now. Now, as of now, this formula or this entire piece is a list in order to use this inside your query. It's advisable to convert this into a table. And all you have to do to convert that to a table is go to the list tools and in the transform tab, click on to table. Okay. This will add another step to your entire query. And the next prompt that you see, 
you don't have to change anything here because we are dealing with a date list here so it does not have any delimiters we can leave this prompt as default and press ok and that is it now you have a dynamic table which will keep on getting updated every time a new calendar day is added cool right so i hope this was helpful and you were able to learn something new today so stay tuned for more and please do remember to subscribe to the channel so that it encourages me to bring such content to youtube more often and i'll see you in the next one thank you